okay we've had a lot of rain but it's a nice 65 degree high today so I'm back here at the Raleigh dump yet again okay two hours later we are down in there three and a half feet and I got it all pretty well cleared out okay we're down into some crunchy cans right now and the glass sinks down a little bit farther Okay, we got two pieces of glass, whiskey, and of course, a free sample of the Hicks Capudine. Okay, we got what could be a soda already. Hmm. Yeah, it sure looks like one. Okay, this looks like it could be a Pepsi, and it definitely is. All right, the perfect Pepsi right off the bat. So uh, that's a good start right there. It's a seventy-five dollar bottle, nineteen oh seven or eight. The very first batch of Raleigh. Pepsi's and they made something like 15 different batches all different looking okay we got some kind of amber patent medicine I think and it's a flask still has an oval label on it but no embossing all right, let's see if I can find something else while I got the camera all turned on. Definitely a nice crunchy layer. Okay, we got a couple of bottles showing. We got a blob top of some sort. being too careful because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a slick hmm yeah don't see these too often though it's actually a root I thought for sure it was going to be from England plenty of olive green ones like this from England are found here but that's an uh, odd American bottle. I guess it's a small mineral water. Okay, I believe we have another soda showing up. Let me get my tripod. Okay, everything's ready now. Okay, it looks like a good one. Maybe a really, really good one. Yep, it is a Sanford Bottling Works. I haven't found one of those for a long time, and the only two I have found were both damaged, and this one is looking like a perfect example. So that is about a $300 bottle right there. So that is definitely putting a smile on my face. Better put that in the water to preserve it. Okay, I just found a couple of these Hicks Capudines in the regular size and then one in the smaller size. Okay, I got some dirt cleared out. Let's see if I can hook up with something. Alright, I just pulled something out. Uh, it looks like it's embossed, but what is it? 
some kind of a Raleigh drugstore that I've never seen before. Can't quite read it still. Wow. Williams and King? Huh, yeah, that is definitely an extremely rare, possibly one-of-a-kind bottle right there. Looks to be in mint condition, too. So, how does that happen? How could there be something I've never seen before that's local that turned up after 50 times of digging here? I don't know, but I'll put that in the water and hopefully it'll stay in perfect condition. And right beside it, there's something else showing up. Could it be another one? Nope, it's a slick this time. Okay, we are into a loaded spot right here. I see a drugstore top right there. Then right underneath it. No, that's broken. Then we got a broken Boss to North Carolina flask. Uh, well, maybe we'll get a whole one one day. And then, of course, we got one of these Hicks Capudines. But let's get back to that drugstore right there, since there's half a chance it'll be embossed. Got a broken flask and uh, it is embossed. I'm not sure which one that is. Okay, what about this one? Alright, it's embossed. It's a King Drug Company and we have many of these now. But of course, a person should never get tired of embossed drugstores. Let's see if there's anything else right here. Well, I got the camera turned on. Broken beer. I don't see any embossing. Okay, I just halfway exposed this one. Uh, it's just one of these cod liver oils. And it's still got some of it in there. It's going to be difficult to clean that out without getting it all over the brush and ruining it. Alright, I just popped that one out. I don't see any embossing on this side, but... Alright, it's embossed on that side. It's a... It's a Henry Hicks from... Well, it is from Raleigh, but for some reason it doesn't actually say that. So, that's actually a variation that I don't really think I have one of. I don't remember. I know I got some Henry T. Hicks, but... I thought they actually said Raleigh on them. This one's possibly different. Okay, I found this piece of blue-gray crock. Obviously 1800s. Then we got some flow blue. Maybe I'll bring it home and sell it for a quarter to somebody. Okay, I see something. Alright, it's another embossed drugstore. And it's still got the medicine in it. Corked. And you can tell this is for real, the original medicine because it's separating. It's got some oily layer in there. Not that I want the original medicine to be in there, because that's not going to really help sell it. Maybe if it was an unembossed one, it would be better. But anyway, it's a nice four-ouncer. So we're doing really good today. Not very many as far as the quantity, but the quality is really great. We have a drugstore showing up. Something else right next to it. Okay, it's embossed again. 
is another Henry T. Hicks. So we're doing really well on the drugstores and the sodas. But what was that other thing? A piece of tile? Did you see that? It is an uh, emerald green. Oh man, it's damaged. It is the Preston of New Hampshire. A beautiful bottle, even with the top broken, I could saw it off right about where those threads are stopping right there. Yeah, that's definitely worth bringing home. They also have a stopper that goes in there that is the same color, so I should look for that. It should be real close by. Well, maybe later. Okay, what do we got this time? Is it going to be embossed? It is. Okay, it is uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah, I find a few of those in here. I smash them half the time accidentally. Okay, we have exposed a cobalt blue bottle. Alright, it is a poison. I used to find these in here a lot, but for some reason I haven't found one the last 25 times. So I'm glad because somebody wanted to buy all of them that I had and I sold them and thought I'd be getting plenty more, but I didn't until just now. I thought the camera was rolling, but it wasn't. I just pulled this flask out and luckily, well, I shouldn't say luckily it wasn't a dispensary because uh, I surely would have wanted to catch that on film, but yeah, it's uh, a nice slick flask, but... The dispensaries are probably down another 10 inches. Oh, well, I got the camera turned on. Look at this interesting green blob top. Almost looks like an Owl Drug Company citrate of magnesia. But no, it couldn't be because there's the bottom of it. And it's definitely twice as big. And then we got this nice shard. Okay, we are down five feet. And I just dug an extra two feet deeper, trying to find out if there's another layer down there. But I'm not hitting anything else, which is strange because three feet that way, that's where all those dispensaries were found. Broken, of course, but like 48 of them was found. So why isn't there any layer at this point? I don't know, but it could be over this way some more so I don't know I guess I'll just dig out this section for now and uh, see what happens okay uh, let's get a look at the hole from this perspective I think I'll take a 15 minute break okay I see something interesting it looks to be a doll. I have not been finding dolls in here at all. This is the first one actually. I hope I can find the arms and legs. I think they'll be gone though, but I'm thinking that might be a boy doll. And if so, boy dolls are worth more than female dolls. This could be worth a hundred dollars just like that. Depending on where it's from. Alright, we have a drugstore base showing up. Where's the flask? feel any embossing on it. And it's a big eight ounce. 
so that's too bad. A big slug plated slicky with some gross medicine in it. Okay, I see something. It's just a slick. Okay, what do we got this time? A bromo. Tiny dollhouse size bromo. But I also found that Hicks Capudine and this Dr. King's new discovery sample size. And it would have been a fairly interesting one. E.E. E. Sutherland Medicine Company, Paducah, Kentucky. Well, that's only the third one I've ever seen in all my years of digging. Okay, I see what looks to be... Is that amber? Can't really tell. A flask, I think. No, it's clear. Yeah, that was really great. Yeah, nah, don't fall. Okay, I think it's ready. It is something other than a flask. It is the Fellows from St. John, New Brunswick. And uh, I believe that's the original medicine because it's got a distinctive color, not just clear like rainwater. So that's probably worth, I don't know, nine or ten dollars maybe. Got something right here. Broken. It's looking like that piece we found earlier. Unusual shade of green. So I'll keep that shard just because of the color. Okay, it looks like we have, is that a soda or a beer? I think it's a soda. So that's great because I love sodas. It's going to be a straight side of coke. Yep, yeah, there it is, Coca-Cola. And it appears to be in mint condition, no lip chips and no cracks. So there we have another $50 bottle. Okay, I see what could be an amber Coke or Pepsi, but we never find those in here, so it's probably just going to be a beer then. Gonna be a red raven split. Yeah, of course. So that's really worth maybe a dollar fifty or two dollars. Okay, we got a big wad of leather, obviously, boots or shoes. Of course, that's not worth anything. Okay, we got something that looks like a patent medicine. This is Sozodent. Sozodent. So that's going to be a dental bottle. Still has part of the label on it. It's the Van Buzzkirks. I haven't found one of these in at least 10 years, as far as I can remember. 
for the teeth and breath. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's probably worth about eight or nine dollars, especially if it turned up purple. Okay, we got something amber showing up. And it is a chemical type, but this one has an extra wide top on it. So that's nice because it's um, different. I haven't found one in here quite like it, so surely it's only worth three or four dollars though. We have something right here. Screw top. Uh, Vaseline. Yeah, I don't really like these so much. Some people actually do though. I don't know why. Okay, you see that? There's an embossed flask right there. broken almost intact though what a shame it's fairly common actually it's just a good looking bottle and it uh, looks like an old break to me so anyway but uh, look at this shard it's the bigger pint Lowenstein from Atlanta I've never found one of those before in that size and I just found another one of these. Okay, we got two amber bottles showing up. They look like the same kind, and I'm thinking they're probably just gonna be some of those Red Raven splits. Hopefully something else. Okay, it's obviously a Red Raven. And so is this one. What is the meaning of this? I don't want those. Okay, what do we got this time? jar yeah looks nice turned purple though please don't be another one of those it's looking like another it's just another raven being careful because these are really barely worth anything so do they sell these in six packs because we're sure are finding a lot of them in that one spot we're hitting water a little bit but I see a flask I think slick and also slick but it is a little bit unusual having the half pint down there at the base I don't know it just looks a little different than any I've ever found before got a couple showing up here this looks like it could be an ink and it is And it looks to be clear with 
black residue still in it. Okay, we got an extract or possibly patent medicine. Hmm, a little bit unusual. Has writing on the side panels. Made in USA. Nothing on that side. It could be a small, smaller than average sewing machine oil. Okay, I think we might have a poison. Yep, it is one of those little sharpened dome with the six different sides on it. Not quite as nice as the cobalt blue bottle, but still it's worth $10. I think I just sold one of these for $10 or $12 actually. Okay, I've got a big amber whiskey fifth, I assume. I'm hoping it's really something else because uh, the amber fifths are never embossed around here. Okay, I think it's ready now. Yeah, it's just a whiskey fifth. But still, it might be worth a few dollars. Okay, it's only four o'clock and we're almost finished. Well, really, we got probably a whole hour left to dig out this two feet over here. Okay, I was widening the hole up over here and I set the shovel down here and just squealed real hard across this. And it looks like a soda bottle. I'm wondering. That is really weird. It's a 20s Chiro Cola. It's in a really odd spot because that's not really a layer. The layer is way down here. So, I don't know. There's usually another layer up a little higher that's from the late 30s. So why do we have a 1917 to 1922 bottle? I don't know, but I'm kind of surprised it didn't break because I put a lot of pressure against it, thinking it was a rock or something. But Shiro Colas are not really worth very much, usually, but still, it could be worth ten dollars. And it's a Raleigh, as you would expect it to be. But it doesn't seem to have any damage otherwise, so that's uh, pretty nice because I don't even think I have one of these. So yeah, that's definitely a $10 bottle since it's so sparkling clean and there's no case wear and no damage of any kind. Well, I dug a little too close to that hole because I only tunneled two inches and I already broke into that hole. So that's not good. Should have had the whole entire thing that way a foot so that I could have tunneled 14 inches that way. But surely we'll find something right in here. Okay, what do we have here? Oh my god. It's an 8 ounce King Drug Company. It just looks crazy because I've never seen one this big. Yeah, they're usually only half that size or even smaller than half that size. So that is really nice. I love these big 8 ounce ones. And it doesn't look like it has any damage, which as you know, this particular style has cracks in them almost every time. So hopefully this one's going to stay perfect after I put it in the water for a few hours. 
Okay, I thought we were going to get out of here pretty early today because we're almost finished, but I actually just probed it right here and it goes down another two feet. Okay, we got something showing up here. I think I know what it is. It's a SPH. Very common. Well, I haven't really been finding that many of them, but it's one of those things you could find in any town in the whole country. Okay, we're way down there. That is eight feet deep right there. There is some stuff down there, but it's just not quite enough to make it worth the struggle. We have no room left on the tarps anyway, and I don't think I'll have enough energy to dig that far anyway, so back to up here. Okay, I think we got an ink. Early machine made, but it'll turn purple. We got a broken something or other and possibly another hex cap of Dean. Mm, it's not a bad looking bottle but as you know I have quite a few of these now Okay, it's been pretty sparse in this section, but I finally have something. Could it be a six ounce embossed pharmacy? Drugstore, apothecary, Pres prescription. It is. It's another Hicks. No, not Hicks, Capudine, Henry T. Hicks. And it's in the big size. I don't know if I have one of these in my collection yet in that size. So that is another great score. Okay, we got three bottles showing. Let's start with this. And it's another embossed drugstore. I can tell it's going to be the Bobbit and Wayne. So it's another beautiful bottle. Still has the cork in it. And I don't know if that's medicine. Some of this is rainwater, but sometimes it's actually rubbing alcohol that's pure clear like that. So what else have we got? We got that one. We got a drugstore right there. And that one is a slick. But we also have this extract of patent medicine. I just felt embossing on the side. Nothing on there and nothing there, but it is side panel embossed and it's probably the Sawyer's extract. Pretty common, but they do turn purple. Okay, I just hooked onto something and yanked, and it turned out to be a bottle, and it's another embossed drugstore. Another Bobbit and Wayne. And it is a big six ouncer. And no, it isn't the same one I already found before. It's another one, so how many is that now? Eight, maybe nine? Okay, we've got what looks to be a food product. Early machine made. 
most likely that'll turn purple. Everything in here is old enough to turn purple for sure. Okay, we got several bottles showing up. I think we have a soda with the top broken off. No, it's worse than that. It is a straight side of Coke, but it's really got very little left. But somebody might be able to do something with that as an art project. But we still have this one. piece mold which means it's unembossed although some of them are embossed up on the shoulder but not this time okay we got possibly a patent medicine now it looks like a drugstore this time oh well no complaints I got plenty of good ones today okay we got a patent medicine or is it a pint size flask no it's actually a drugstore type whoa I can still read the label on it Tell what it says. Not quite good enough to want to try and preserve it, but that is a 16 ounce drugstore. It could be some kind of a furniture polish or something else too. Okay, we had a bit of a cave in, but if it wasn't for that, I would probably have never gotten to this bottle over there. Even though it looks like it's probably just a champagne. Got the stopper still in it though. How weird is that? Too bad it doesn't have a name attached to it. Hmm. Well, might be worth something to somebody. Okay, I'm 99% done. Just got this little corner left. Oh, I'm so tired. I think I'll lay down and take a nap. Okay, I've tunneled it as far as I can. The other hole from before must be just a couple inches away. All right, we have found a few more. Didn't feel like getting the camera out for these, but that's a common catch-up. And we have the cannabis medicine in a beautiful odd green color. Pisos Cure. Top's broken, but still, I'm not going to throw it away. It's still going to be worth a couple dollars to somebody. And we got this slick square medicine. And the sun is still out. So uh, I got about two hours of filling it back in now. And this whiskey, uh, I didn't show you, but it has this label on it. 
pretty sure it says something about the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906. But if it is one of those, it must be a 1907 bottle because this dump is really old. Some people actually get out of the hole to fill it back in, but not me. Always just push, pull, and twist. You don't have to bend your back all those times. And look how fast it goes. Okay, I'm back home. Here's the bottle of the day. Sanford Bottling Works. The only perfect one I've ever found. Okay, yep, yeah, that's definitely a keeper right there. And this is the second best bottle of the day. It's the only one I've ever seen. So that automatically makes it a hundred dollar bottle. It's a nice size and just a really good looking bottle. So that's a great interesting bottle right there. Can't believe it took so many years to find the first one. And this big 8 ounce drugstore. Then we got the big 6 ounce of the Bobbitt and Wayne. Then this other Bobbitt and Wayne with the original medicine in it. Should I leave it in there or take it out? I don't know. It's kind of weird looking. Then we got the big six ounce Henry T. Hicks. So I'm pretty sure that's the biggest one of these I've ever found. Then we got a three ounce Hicks drugstore. And then we have the one ounce Henry T. Hicks. Then we have this little King Drug Company. Then we have another Bobbitt and Wayne of the size that is the full one. So that's another $27 bottle or thereabout. So that was what, nine drugstores. So that's about $300 worth of drugstores at least. And we got the Chiro Cola and it turned out to be in mint condition even though I hit it really hard with the shovel. So I'm going to put a value of about $15 on that one. Then we have this beautiful Pepsi Sparkling Clean. And that I'm going to put a value of $75 on. And then we got this straight side of Coke. It's in mint condition, just needs a little bit of tumbling and it'll be perfectly sparkling. So that's $50 right there. And we got the little poison sharpened dome. It's a little bit stained up, but it's not damaged at all. So that's probably $20. That was a $700 day right there. So that's a pretty impressive dig. It took me almost 11 hours to do the whole project though. So until next week.